Hey guys, welcome back to Asus Creators Academy. Today we'll be sharing tips on how to add text behind moving objects. This effect is really suitable for video openings, especially for vlogs. Now you might be thinking, this effect can only really be done in After Effects where you need extra plugins and things, but you'll be surprised at how simple and easy this effect can be done just using Premiere Pro alone. For today, we have the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo once again. Equipped with a Core i9 and RTX 3070 combo, it's going to serve you well for content creation. Not to mention that secondary display with the ScreenPad Plus adds a little bit of versatility to your workflow. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and there are two ways to achieve this effect. Here's the first, using Pen Tool to Mask. Firstly, you will definitely want to import the raw footage of your choice and set it in your timeline. We can then select the Type tool or just press T for the shortcut key and type your text. Now, go over to the Selection tool and press on the text in order to adjust the size and font. For our case and the purpose of this tutorial, let's make the text bigger. And here, we will recommend a few fonts that's suitable for a vlogging kind of video title, which would include Righteous, Montserrat, and Aloya. These fonts are all free to download by the way, so let's choose a nice font and give our video a nice boost in visuals. But again, the choice is yours. So now, after all the font adjustments, we can then move on to the next step. We lengthen the font duration to be the same as the video here. Next, we need to copy and paste the video to another layer, and we can do so by pressing the Alt key and dragging the video at the same time. Now you will notice that your font is being covered, so let's adjust the video opacity to 90% or lower in order to see where our font is. Next, let's go to the Effects Control Panel and select the Pen Tool, which can be found under the Opacity section. And you can also adjust the zoom level here to work on your canvas with a little more precision. Let's then now create a mask around the object. Once you have completed masking the object, you might notice a slight problem. Our object is not still, not stationary. So how do we make sure that the mask follows the object while it's moving within the frame? Here's where we need the keyframes to do the job, and it's very simple. Click on Track Selected Mask Forward, and Premiere Pro will automatically help to track the object's movement. But do note that it doesn't work perfectly every time. As you can see here, the AI is helping us to mark the keyframes in every single frame, but it's not perfect. And because it keyframe every single frame, and if you want to adjust the masking position, you'll basically have to adjust every single frame. So in this case, tracking the keyframe and adjusting your mask manually might actually be preferable. Now you then move on to click on the clock to start setting the keyframe, and you always do so for the start and end point. We can then slowly adjust the position of masking at the middle part. It's a method of threes and it will help you get a more accurate mask throughout the timeline without having a keyframe every single frame. This masking is detailed work. The more time you spend, the better results you can get. Patience and diligence is key here. Once you're done setting up all the keyframes, we can then fine-tune it by adjusting the feather. Feather helps to soften the edges and blend it, making it look much more natural and pleasing. And that's it, <laughs> we are all done. So let's play the video and see the result. And yep, looks like we are good to go. So that was the first way. Let's now try the second way. This would be far more helpful if you find yourself in a situation where there are too many small objects in your footage and it's too time consuming to mask and track all of them. So, one simple tip is adding in blend mode. There are tons of blend modes to choose from here, so feel free to experiment with the different blending modes when you overlay text over your video footage in order to achieve the desired result that you are looking for. Overall, the process is very similar to the first way. We'll start by adding in text using the Type 2, and in this method, we'll actually recommend you to use a larger font type so that it will be easier to blend into the background. In this case, we're going to use Montserrat and make it bold. 
Now more often than not, the blend modes that we use for this method will be darken, darker color, multiply or linear burn. In this case, we will use the darken blend mode where each resulting color channel value is lower than the source color channel value and the corresponding underlying color channel value. Now, don't quite get it? Well, the result is this. The text just blends in at the background without us having to mask out the front object. So there you go. We've just covered two simple and quick easy methods to make your video more appealing and visually enticing. Feel free to play around with it and give your videos a nice boost. That's it for now, but if you're interested in everything else that ASUS Creators Academy has to offer, please do check out the links in the description. There is so much more in store that we think you'll be interested in. With that said, have fun editing and we'll see you guys in the next one.